What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Castle Crush. Um, so as you, if you've been following along here, you'll see that we're uh, down quite a few trophies. Uh, I've been experimenting with quite a few decks. I basically decided since I, we're up here at Castle 8, we're pretty high up, I'm pretty confident that I can always go back and play my decks that have gotten me here and uh, stay at this level, so I'm not too worried about leveling down unless I really intended on leveling down. Um, so I'm just going to experiment with some different decks here and I've played around with a few and today I want to show you a resurrection deck that I've been playing. So first I'll show you where we've been. We actually got our high trophies all the way up to 3866, but this is the deck we're going to be playing today. Um, my cards here are not too under leveled uh, for our competition, so I don't feel too uh, badly. I think we could win some games. We won't win them all, but we can win some games in it. The inspiration for this deck comes from... Uh, one of the top players. This is the top player, I believe, the top player in the group, the I. I don't know how to pronounce the name. Leon Har or something like that. And so you can see we have the exact same deck, uh, although his cards are maxed out except the Whirlwind, the, some of the Legendaries, and the um, Resurrection. I'm not sure if it's a good idea to max out the Resurrection. Um, that's a little tip to think about here. So let me show you. Our Fan Dancer is at level 7, its health is 178, our Archers 172, and our Skeletons 156. So let's look at our Resurrection. Our Resurrection brings back health at 178. I could upgrade it, which would bring back health a little higher. Uh, our Archer Queen is health is 519, so if I did upgrade it, it would bring back the Archer Queen a little bit, but the point here is that if I do use Resurrection to bring back Fan Dancer, Skeletons, or the Archers, the Archers Tribe, they will all come back at full health, and it's not really necessary to upgrade it any higher unless I wanted to bring back the Archer Queen at a higher health, uh, which may be a good idea, so maybe I should think about doing that. Same thing, obviously, for the Vampire, although vampire is, resurrecting the Vampire is probably never going to be um, a super strong strategy. Um, there may be some weird situations where it comes up, and I'm not really going to worry too much about resurrecting the, the Black Witch. So the Black Witch and the Vampire are obviously there for defense. The deck can be a little slow against some, some rush decks and speed decks. So we have uh, the Crystal. We also have a Whirlwind with, I think, um, this deck should do okay against Reaper decks, which are very popular. Whirl, the, the, the Gust of Wind, rather, uh, will force our... Um, force the you can use that to push the reaper back and a lot of our cards do okay against the reaper we have the fan dancers can can hit the reaper even if it's being tanked by a creature and the um you know, we can fill the lanes pretty well with with our other little cards and so we should be okay against reaper decks um but maybe we'll run into one and we'll see so i've played a few games with this so far obviously um you know, I, i'm not a real experienced resurrection deck player um, but the basic idea, just to, just to give you a hint here, you know, the basic idea is to um, run lots of creatures at them, use the Archer Queen to, to double or, well, effectively double the power of your archers, um, defend with the Vampire and the, the Black Witch. And if they kill your creatures with uh, Inferno or they kill your creatures with uh, our arrows or something like that, just use the Resurrection and bring them back. We've got two in the deck, so we should have plenty of opportunities to use our Resurrection to bring them right back, and that just makes it difficult to deal with. It seems like a constant stream of, of creatures coming at them. So I've played a few games. I've won a couple. I've lost a couple. Um, so let's see. Let's see how we can do here. Okay, good. We got a crystal right away. That's always good because, as I said, our deck can be a little slow. Our opponent got a crystal too. That's always another thing to sort of pay attention to when you're playing is how many cards does your opponent have? Uh, do, what, what's their possible mana level? Right now, I know they're at the same possible mana level as me. They're at five. I'm going to place now they've used mana ritual so they can play something like Executioner here if they want, which would be a little bit annoying. So I'm going to kind of wait and see what they want to do. They are being a good little person, and they're, they're waiting. Probably, yeah, that's what I was expecting them to play Executioner at the last minute. But that's okay, because I'm going to come with my Vampire, hopefully. Okay, hopefully the Vampire can do the job. Yes, I think it will. That's good. And I'm going to back that up with some Skeletons. And now I'm going to hold off, because I'm afraid that's exactly what I was afraid of, arrows. And so I didn't want to play anything right away. I wanted to be ready to go with my Resurrection. See, I got that out there, and now they've played Meteor, so I'm going to go ahead and get out my... I'm kind of waiting to see if they play... Ah, skeletons. 
Yes, okay, this can do okay against skeletons. There we go. This fan dancer is really going to do a number on those skeletons. That's kind of why I was waiting. Plus, I have more archers coming. And I'm going to wait again. Okay, we should be able to handle, even with the giant growth, I think we're going to be able to handle. Okay, I'm going to put another one. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well, that's very strong. Okay. Whoa. Okay, well, I wasn't paying attention. That was something I should have been paying attention to. I really wasn't paying attention to my opponent's health. But, uh, hey, we got the win. In fact, we got a flawless win. It actually looked like I knew what I was doing. So, um, so nice there. Uh, you can see we are three wins away from our victory chest. We also can open a silver chest, so let's just open that. Um, okay, nothing I really play a whole lot with. Okay, so let's, let's go again. So one of the things that can get you in trouble with this deck is playing two cards too quickly. You might have seen in that last one, um, I didn't play a card right away because I wanted to hold off. I wanted to make sure I had enough mana available to play a resurrection in case my opponent did play arrows. And when they played the arrows, I was ready to go with that resurrection. Um, that, um, okay, that strikes me as possibly where that we're playing against an overtime deck. Although they're using mana ritual, so it seems pretty unlikely. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, we have a few options here. Oh, that's nice. That's the best option. That is the best option right there. Uh, okay. All right. Well, that's okay. We, we still have other options for dealing with this. Um, okay, I'm going to use a resurrection. Bring them back. Go here. Okay, he's going to go there. Um, I kind of want to wait and... And do this right now. There we go. So I popped his. Uh... Okay, that's not fun. Um, darn, 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 darn. Okay, we're gonna have to do something here, and that something is push him back. There we go. And okay, it's gonna be difficult to deal with all the cards my opponent has here, but maybe our archers can do enough damage. Okay. This is going to be a trouble card for us, I can tell you right now. A giant growth dragon. So I'm going to try to run down these other lanes and see if we can do a lot of damage. Okay, there we go. It's a good card for the dragon. Okay, another dragon over there. And another pushback by my opponent. Oh, man. Opponent has a lot of cards that are going to make it difficult for us. Oh, darn. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. Come on, archers. That's it. Go, 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 go. We need these archers to do massive damage. Come on, come on, come on. Don't draw. Oh, my goodness. you got to be kidding me. Oh, get so unlucky sometimes with our um, opponents. Oh, man. Man, that was a little unlucky. Come on now. Come on. Get off me, Freeze. Get off me. Oh, terrible. Terrible. So I think we're not playing that badly. Um, we are certainly not having the best of luck. I'm going to hold on to my... Um, I don't want to play this. Okay, that's kind of why I wanted to hold on to this, because I was afraid he was going to do something like that. Oh, you got to be kidding. Of course, of course. He had both the dragon and... Oh, man, well, this is going to be a loss. The dragon gets to your castle. It's Unless I get the, the uh, gust of wind. Oh, okay. We can fight back. We can try to fight back. Well, and, of course, he giant grows it immediately. Well, that's going to be a good game. Okay, and, and, you know, there's no real reason to act like that. I mean, this is the jester thing, but, uh, you know, a lot of opponents do that because, um, I don't know, maybe they're seven years old. But that's okay. I mean, look, um, you know, our opponent played well. They had, unfortunately for us, they had two executioners in the deck. They also, I thought, I think personally, they got pretty lucky uh, with their metamorph hitting an executioner, which which kind of ruined the lane. I was doing quite a bit of damage. It didn't mean we were going to win. We could have still lost anyway. But um, but that's the break sometimes. I hate metamorph. It's such a random card. Um, I mean, literally, it, that's what you get is a random creature on the board. And um, I hate it because... Uh, it always feels like my opponent gets the best creature on the board when they do it. Okay, so this time I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to start this one out with the Archer's Tribe. I do have a Resurrection in my back pocket. And um, I could play the Fan Dancer, but I kind of want to wait because I want to see if they're going to throw some. Okay, jeez. So is everybody going to play? 
is this what's going to happen today? We're, we're going to have everybody playing Executioner, like, immediately? Uh, I think, like, they, they would... Okay, there's another difficult card for us to deal with. <sighs> the Mage. I don't know how to play against these, unfortunately, because they just... We just are going to lose all of our stuff. Um, so I can go Whirlwind, and then I can go... That should... Oh, man, I was hoping that would just do enough damage to kill it. Oh my goodness, we're having a lot of problems. Okay, I need to get that out quickly. It's not going to happen. Good game, us. Okay. Well, that was terrible. Um, it's almost as if our opponent knew what we were playing. Like, hey, this opponent's going to play a Resurrection deck, so therefore I will play immediately an Executioner. But... Oh well, such is such is the game. A lot of opponents, I think, I don't know why. Maybe it's because a lot of people are running ex uh, these resurrection decks. I don't know. It seems like a lot of opponents, mana ritual, mana ritual, executioner, like as fast as they can, and I'm not really quite sure why that is. Uh, quite frankly, I don't think it's that good of a play. Maybe not not enough people are running lightning because I mean, uh, uh, one good lightning, which unfortunately I don't have. I recently got lightning, and so it's not very high level. But a, a high level lightning will just take that out, and I just think, well. That was a lot of cards and a lot of mana you used just to, um, to, just, okay, so this should be an okay matchup. The Fan Dancer should do all right against these two. And I'm wondering, okay, they have a Fan Dancer as well. It's weird. Um, okay, that's what I was thinking. Maybe my opponent is running a, some sort of, um, okay, and they're going to play a Protection on a, Fan Dancer. I'm not sure how I want to deal with that, to be quite honest with you. Okay, so they're going to go there. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, I think my opponent is playing uh, a Reaper deck, which I don't really know how I want to deal with, other than to go here and to try to match up with a bunch of skeletons against them. I don't know. Um, maybe some archers too. I don't know. They've got a genie down here at the bottom. It's kind of annoying. I'm trying to resurrect my skeletons and things and bring them back into the play here. Another genie. Oh, man. Darn it. Standard bearer. That's what I thought. You knew this was a reaper deck. Okay, get back. Okay, hopefully we can do some. Oh, God dang, the genie. Genie, it's driving me crazy here. There, we got rid of the genie. Okay, can we hold on? Can we hold on and win? I think we've got a chance. We've got a chance. Our opponent is is saying he does not like his situation. Good game. Wow, what a fight. Well played. Our opponent, I think, did probably play it pretty well. Although, I have to question the use of the protection early on on the fan dancer. They're only running it with one protection. They're also running it funny. This is a funny Reaper deck because uh, it has the, it's more of a, just a straight rush deck because it also has the demon in it. I'm not 100% sure I'm crazy about that deck, but clearly our opponent's doing pretty well with it. Although, those are some high level cards right there. Yeah, some very high level cards. Okay, so uh, maybe we can get two more wins and get ourselves a victory chest. That would be cool. Yeah, thinking back about that other opponent, I mean, I think it's pretty classless to to ever use the Jester. I mean, in, unless you're laughing at yourself or something, but a lot of opponents do that. I mean, this is a game played by... Okay, now see, this is, this is a good... I like this setup because um, lots of opponents play this Reaper thing, and the Archer's Tribe really does a nice job against it. Okay, I'm hesitating because I don't know why. Okay, do I know why? Okay, they're going to go there, but I think my fan dancer can get that egg, right? No, maybe not. No, we did not get it. Okay, well, we'll bring these guys back. Come on, fan dancers, come on. Take that egg out. That's what we need. Bye-bye, egg. Yes, okay. Now we're rolling, and we're going to get an archer queen here pretty soon. And I think my opponent is pretty much dead. They can try to take out some of my stuff, but I also have the Resurrection ready to go. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, wow. Now that one, 
I think that's the way you want to play it. Now, what was our opponent playing? It's always good to review your games afterwards. Okay, our opponent was not playing a Reaper deck. They sort of feigned like they were playing it, coming with the uh, the Dwarf, a Reaper early on, and a Protection. But uh, the, um, the Archer's Tribe, I, having played Reaper decks myself, I find Archer's Tribe to be a really annoying first play. Uh, some opponents I play against will go like Crystal, Mana Ritual, Archer's Tribe, and you're sitting there with your Reaper deck going, okay, there's no open lanes. How am I going to get through? Um, so I, when I when I have seen it, if I'm playing against a Reaper deck, I don't mind uh, getting the Archer's Tribe out. In that case, we were pretty fortunate because we had some Crystals early on, which made it really easy for us to defend against that um, possible Reaper attack. Okay. Let's see if we can get one more. Okay, so we've got Archer's Tri or Archers right away. Uh, typically when I see that, I do think, um, I do think a Reaper deck is coming. I don't know if this is the, okay, Fan Dancer, Fan Dancer. This is the sort of, uh, thing we're seeing here. Okay, let's, I don't like this play because they've backed it up with the Fan Dancer. Will I get there to do any damage? No, I will not. Terrible. Okay, just terrible play by me. I'm in big trouble in this one because I'm not, unfortunately, I don't have anything leveled up enough to break through that, that like, that wall there. I mean, I could try with my, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, I can push this back, but that's just going to open me up up here on the top lane. Um, unless I draw, uh, yeah, I think I'm dead no matter what I do. Um, Okay, I can try to defend, but I'm just going to die, so um, I can go with like an Archer's Queen here. And I can try to go like Resurrection. They have Archer Queen too. Yeah, it's over. Okay, good game. Well played. Um, unfortunately, we just weren't fast enough and our cards are just too under leveled. Um, it's just a spam deck, just a straight spam deck by our opponent. and. Uh, with high level cards, spam decks can be pretty effective. Uh, unfortunately, my cards are not as good. And so our deck, I mean, our deck is kind of spammy too, right? So um, that's the thing in this game. When you're matching up um, against people playing very similar decks, and, and a lot of it's, I mean, obviously gameplay matters, but a lot of it's about who has the better card level. And that's what we saw there. Okay, here comes a level 10 warrior. Um, what am I going to do? I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to push it back. This might be a real big mistake ultimately because, um, okay, now I'm going to wait and I'm going to go here because this will match up good against the warrior. And then, it, okay, that stinks, but I could, how can I take out the warrior with a fan dancer? Maybe. Okay. Well, my guys are going to get it there anyway. Arg, that's frustrating. Well, let's see. Will we bring it back and get enough life? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Come on. Oh, that was perfect because that fan dancer took the hit there. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Man, our vampire is going to work. That is awesome. And I missed, probably missed an opportunity to use a resurrection. Um, but oh well. I guess, oh well. What am I going to do in that top lane? What am I going to do? Okay, I have two of these, so I don't mind dropping one right here. Okay, that's going to be a tough card for us, I think, unless I can draw the Archer Queen, and I did not. So, let's see. Let's back this guy up. Oh, man. Okay, well, we're going to have to get rid of this lane. We just can't. That's something we can't allow. We cannot allow that to go okay so now is when we're going to see ourselves run into a lot of trouble because our opponent is playing with the card our worst nightmare card the uh, executioner um darn 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 i'm pretty much dead unless i draw both gust of wind and okay i'm dead okay good game uh, well, I mean, the other card I could have drawn was Vampire, but as we saw, we already used the Vampire, um, and it wasn't, it wasn't apparently up to do yet. Darn! We, we, I think we had a chance at that one. Um, the Eight Pirate is definitely an annoying card for us to deal with. Um, pretty much we're looking at, 
uh, either the uh, and 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 I pretty much hate the eight pirate. Like if I could take one card and throw it out of the game, like whatever I hate metamorph at, I hate uh, eight pirate at least twice as much. That would be the game, the card. I, I mean, I I just want to give them away as fast as I can. I hate that card. Um, but basically, without the Black Witch, uh, which it would, in, the, in his deck, I really need the Black Witch to deal with both the Ape Pirate and the Executioner, which makes it tough. Um, and or the Vampire. And unfortunately, they're legendary, so I can only have one of those. Okay, come on. Let's get one more so we can get a victory chest. So we're not doing too badly. I mean, uh, for for a deck that, in my view, is, is, is under-leveled in terms of our cards... Um, our, our uh, win rate has not been too bad. I mean, there always will be decks that you just are going to have a really hard time against. Um, and I feel like we've run into a couple of those. Uh, maybe, maybe I play badly. Uh, it's always a real possibility. Okay, so how do we want to deal with that? Um, hmm... I think I'm going to go Archer's Tribe, and then I think I'm just going to push it back. And what am I going to do about that lane up there? Uh, I really wanted to push that back up there and use my Fan Dancer. So I'm going to try this. Let's see. Come on. Oh, too slow. Yep, we are dead. Uh, probably. Um, okay, because... Uh, oh, shoot. Ah, I knocked my whole thing over. Sorry about that. Okay, that might be okay. Will we be okay here? Our, our question is, is our Skeleton Swarm strong enough to take that out? I don't know. Can our... What do we have? Oh, man, I have not been, I've not been playing it very well. I probably should have been... Um... Okay, let's go here. No, Black Witch... Okay, um, Vampire, we're going to, okay, well, we're going to have to go here, and then right, right behind with this. Oops, too, I was too quick, too quick with that. Okay, come on, Vampire, come on, 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 come on. Fan Dancer, need you, come on. I need a Skeleton Swarm there, too. And the Skeleton Swarm here. And Archers. We're making a fight out of this. We're making it a fight. Uh, are we going to win? Probably not. But we're making it a fight. Okay, another dragon. Uh, okay, we're going to have to push back. That's okay. Okay, now what? Okay, two resurrections. Okay, we're going to have to play one of them. Dragon is being tanked by an angel. Where is the miracle card we need? Is not here, unfortunately. Gosh darn. Come on now. We need... Oh, man, that's the exact combination we needed. Now, will it actually work, or will they kill all of our stuff? I don't know. Oh, man. I was too slow with that resurrection. Only got one card back. Uh, well, we're going to lose, but, uh, man, what a fight we put on here. Um, uh, some of these cards. Oh, wow. That, that, that actually is kind of gives us a chance. Uh, it's a little weird that my opponent would do that because now I can play this and I can play this. Oh, well, they have a heal as well, so, well, good game. Good game. Well played. Well, tough opponent, uh, tough matchup for us there. Um, I think the, the solution, the only way to really beat that opponent would be to get something going very quickly. Um, unfortunately, um, the Dread really slowed us down, and then they had enough time to get out all of their stuff. Uh, okay, let's, let's, come on. All we need is one win. Just one. We had a couple of, of really fast wins early on. Um, game was pushing so hard on my, uh, I don't know why this person is so angry. Pushing on my, 
my tablet so so hard that I knocked it over. Okay, Unchained Demon. Um, we can actually do all right against these decks, even with the Giant Growth. We can do okay. Um, oh, I have so many options. Let's try this one. See what they want to do. Okay, they're going to go there. I will go here. I'm not 100% sure if this is the best idea, but I'm going to go Vampire right behind it. Okay, that's, they're going to, okay. Well, then that's fine. Oh, no, 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 no. I was wanting the skeletons. I thought my skeletons were still available. All right. Well, I thought we were going to do okay, and now we're not. We are going to lose, pretty much. Um, because I've so far already used uh, pretty much everything I can use against these. My goodness. What? I mean, it, it, it's like uh, sometimes my opponents, I feel like they just have all of the cards they need. All right, well, <clears throat> good game, I guess. I mean, not really a lot we could have done here. Um, wow, and of course, they also, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe I just played it very badly, but... Uh, but, but I, I, I don't know. I thought we could be all right there. Um, so it's literally only Unchained Demons and, of course, Metamorphs to uh, reproduce your giant Unchained Demon. Um, and all of those defensive cards. I don't know. I don't know. Um, probably, I mean, usually against Unchained Demon decks, I beat them by rushing other lanes. Uh, may have been a better strategy there rather than trying to take that one on. Um, I don't know. Or maybe our cards just suck, and I suck, and so we lose. All right. So we've needed one win for about how many games in a row now? I don't know. But I uh, probably should have waited to see if my opponent played something. Okay. But I do have a Resurrection, so I'm going to go ahead and play the Skeleton Swarm. And if they Inferno it or something, I might be able to bring it back in time. Okay, they're going to go there. I'll play another Skeleton Swarm and be ready for their arrows. Be ready for the arrows. Ready? Are they going to play arrows? Yes. Perfect. And we're back. And we're going to bring friends. And how am I going to deal with this guy? Okay, we're going to go right here. Come on, quickly, quickly, quickly. Come on. Oh, man, man. Just tanking these things. They're just tanking them. Arg! Arg! Why are our opponents so good? Why can't they be bad? All of our best cards. Okay, um, let's go here. Follow that up with. Oh, you gotta be kidding. Alright, we gotta go Fan Dancer behind that. Come on, I don't know if that was the best use of a resurrection. Another Archer's Tribe. Oh my goodness, how did they get all their health back? They were playing a Fortify too, man. How can our opponents be so annoying? Ugh, and the dragon is here. Oh man. Oh, and that. Oh, unbelievable. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Oh my goodness. Such terrible fortunes here. Alright, we're gonna have to go here. We have to push this back. Man. Oh, yeah. I'll bring her back, I guess. Jeez. Nothing. I mean, I can try this up here. Oh, that's not the card I wanted. I wanted this card, but okay. It does not matter. All right, good game. Man, I thought we were going to win that one. I thought we were in such good shape. Two arrows, I ran out of resurrections. Come on.
We need one win. Might end up cutting this video short because there's no point in, uh, in watching me lose game after game after game unless you want to learn how to be terrible. All right, now let me guess. My opponent's going to play something like um, level 11. Okay, yeah, even better. Okay. Just kill that stupid thing. I'm tired of this. Okay, and resurrection. We'll bring everybody back. We'll bring everybody back. Could do it again, but I'm just going to go here. And answer. We should be able to get rid of that before it gets there, I think. Yes, okay. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and bring her back because she's so she helps our archers so much. Now, of course, if my opponent plays arrows here, I'm going to be annoyed. But uh, because she does so well with our, our archers. Ah, uh, there it is. That's what I wanted. Just what I wanted. The perfect annoying. Okay, well, that's not a good play of skeletons because we should be able to take those out. And another archer queen should be able to do the trick. Are we going to actually do it? Yes. All right. Good game. So apparently when we win, we absolutely crush our opponent with a flawless victory. And when we lose, we sit there and hang around all day and then lose anyway. So, okay. Hey, uh, that's it for this one. Oh, you know what? Since we worked so hard for it, we might as well show you the victory chest. Uh, oh, we got an epic. Okay. So this is where we say, fingers crossed. I'd like a Skull King because I don't have a Skull King yet. Um, I got a bunch of words. Hey, Executioner, that's good. I can finally get that to where it's not so under level. And of course, I get my Bajillion Spectre. Okay, so uh, that's it for this video. Um, if you like this video, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye bye.